Things were looking good for Florida State, the top-ranked team in the nation. The Seminoles had built a 27-7 fourth-quarter lead over the Florida Gators, quieting the 85,000 fans at Florida Field, also known as the Swamp. Charlie Ward, the presumptive favorite for the Heisman, tossed three touchdown passes, two to Kez McCorvey in a dominant third quarter. Into the end zone, McCorvey! Touchdown! His counterpart, fellow Hall of Famer and 1996 Heisman winner Danny Werfel, had been forced out of the game by a ferocious Florida State defense. However, Steve Spurrier's fun-and-gun offense found its footing behind reserve quarterback Terry Dean. It also found a lot of luck. Dean's pass to Jack Jackson near the end zone was tipped by FSU cornerback Clifton Abraham, and the ball then caromed toward safety Mac Knight. Inexplicably, the ball ended up in the hands of Jackson. This serendipitous 30-yard touchdown cut the lead to 27-21 with just under six minutes to play. Florida State could ill afford to give the ball back to the suddenly hot Gators. Passes on first and second down from their own 21-yard line fell incomplete. With momentum and a now deafening sellout crowd on the side of the Gators, Ward knew he needed a big play. What he got is still referred to in Tallahassee 30 years later as simply Ward to Dunn. It's tough, that's a lot of noise. On third and ten, Ward throws and got to Dunn. Warwick Dunn is all the way. They won't catch him, I don't think. Ward sprinted the length of the field to join Dunn in the end zone ending a day that saw him complete 38 of 53 passes for 446 yards and four touchdowns. The exclamation point to a Heisman winning season. The 1993 Florida Florida State game is remembered for many reasons, including a matchup of Hall of Fame coaches and Heisman winning quarterbacks. But in the end, according to Bobby Bowden, only one player on the field really mattered that day. These two teams may be equal at this, might be equal at that, Bowden said, but we have Charlie Ward.